What comes to mind when you hear the word multiverse? Do you think of vast alien worlds, each different in physical laws? Or perhaps you think of other universes connected with one another through some sort of magical tunnel or wormhole that we can traverse one day. Maybe these universes are forever out of our reach, existing in dimensions that we can never touch, no matter how advanced humanity becomes. Humans are curious creatures, and after all, we are the universe's way of observing itself. Parallel universes are no longer just a feature of a good sci-fi story. There are now scientific theories to support the idea of parallel universes beyond our own. However, the multiverse theory remains one of the most controversial theories in science. Our universe is unimaginably big. Hundreds of billions if not trillions of galaxies spinning through space, each containing billions or trillions of stars. Some researchers studying models of the universe speculate that the universe's diameter could be 90 billion light years across. Others think it could be infinite. But is it all that's out there? Science fiction loves the idea of a parallel universe and the thought that we might be living just one of an infinite number of possible lives. Multiverses aren't reserved for Star Trek, Spider-Man, and Doctor Who though. Real scientific theory explores, and in some cases supports, the case for universes outside, parallel to or even distant from our own. Multiverses and parallel worlds are often argued in the context of other major scientific concepts like the Big Bang, string theory, and quantum mechanics. Around 13.7 billion years ago, everything we know of was an infinitesimally small singularity. Then according to the Big Bang theory, it all came into action, inflating faster than the speed of light in all directions for a tiny fraction of a second. After 10 to the power of negative 32 seconds had passed, a microcosm of time, the universe had exploded outwards to 10 to the power of 26 times its original size in a process we call cosmic inflation. And that's all before the actual expansion of matter that we usually think of as the Big Bang itself, which was a consequence of all of this inflation. As the inflation slowed, a flood of matter and radiation appeared creating the classic Big Bang fireball and began to form the very first atoms, molecules, stars, and galaxies that populate the vastness of space that surrounds us today. That mysterious process of inflation and the Big Bang have convinced some researchers that multiple universes are possible or even very likely. According to multiple theoretical physicists, inflation didn't end everywhere at the same time. While it ended for everything that we can detect from Earth 13.8 billion years ago, cosmic inflation in fact continues in other places. This is called the theory of eternal inflation. And as inflation ends in a particular space, a new bubble universe forms in its stead. The concept of a multiverse is not one that is new. In fact, it's one that has been debated by early philosophers and religions for millennia. Hinduism is an ancient religion that originated in India and has a rich and complex history. It includes a wide range of beliefs and the concept of a multiverse or multiple universes or realms of existence is one belief that has been present in Hindu thought for centuries. According to Hinduism, the universe is thought to be cyclical with each cycle consisting of four yugas or ages. These ages are characterized by different levels of moral virtue and spiritual enlightenment and are thought to be separated from one another by periods of great upheaval and change. Hinduism also includes the concept of lokas, which are different realms or worlds that are thought to exist within the universe. These realms are thought to be inhabited by different types of beings, including gods, demons, and humans, and each is believed to have its own sets of physical laws and constants. But the concept of the multiverse is not one that is tied down and confined to Hinduism only. The concept of the plurality of worlds or the idea that there may be multiple universes or worlds beyond our own has a long history in philosophy. Ancient Greek philosophers Democritus and Leucippus were among the first to propose this idea. They were major proponents of the philosophy of atomism, 
which holds that the universe is made up of indivisible, indestructible particles called atoms. According to their view, the universe is infinite, and that the atoms that make up the universe are arranged in an infinite number of configurations giving rise to an infinite number of possible worlds or universes. Democritus and Lucifer argued that the universe and the objects within it are ultimately reducible to the atoms in the void, and that everything we observe in the world is a result of the movement and arrangement of these atoms. They also argued that the atoms are eternal and indestructible, and that the universe itself has no beginning or end. The concept of the plurality of worlds proposed by them was a radical idea for their time, and since then has had a lasting influence on philosophical and scientific thought. While the idea of multiple universes is still very much a topic of debate and speculation today, and the concept of atoms as the fundamental building blocks of the universe has been largely accepted by modern science. Let's talk about the different levels of the multiverse. According to Max Tegmark, a theoretical physicist, there are four different levels of the multiverse. A level 1 multiverse, also known as the many worlds theory, suggests that every possible outcome of every event that has ever occurred or will occur in the universe actually occurs in a separate universe. According to this theory, the multiverse consists of an infinite number of parallel universes, each with its own sets of physical laws, constants, and histories. The idea of the many worlds theory was first proposed by physicist Hugh Everett III in the 1950s as a way to explain certain strange features of quantum mechanics, such as the concept of superposition, an idea that a particle can exist in multiple states at the same time. Everett argued that the many worlds theory was a more satisfactory explanation for this phenomena than the traditional interpretation, which suggests that the outcome of a quantum event is determined by random chance. According to the many worlds theory, every time a quantum event occurs, the universe splits into a separate universe, each corresponding to a different possible outcome of that particular event. For example, if you were to flip a coin, the many worlds theory suggests that in one universe the coin will land on heads, and in another universe it will land on tails. This would mean that there are an infinite number of parallel universes each with its own sets of physical laws, energies, and properties of matter. A level 2 multiverse proposes that our universe, or our level 1 multiverse, is actually held in a bubble, and that that bubble is surrounded by countless other bubble universes, some of which, again, are like our own, and some of which are very different. These bubbles are then separated by vast stretches of space-time to form the new and ominous multiverse structure. The gaps between these multiverses could be so vast, however, that even if you were to be traveling at the speed of light, you wouldn't be fast enough to move between them since the space-time itself is expanding faster than even the speed of light. But nevertheless, what happens in these other unreachable bubble universes, you may ask? Well, according to level 2 multiverse theory, some could have totally different physical and fundamental characteristics. This is the main difference between level 2 and level 1. As they are not necessarily guided by the same fundamental laws, these other bubble universes could have different dimensions, different physical constants, and even different elementary particles from those that we see in our own. This creates the potential for some seriously mysterious and strange universes where, for example, in one gravity or dark energy may be weaker, so there is no such thing as a home star or star system or where atoms are unable to form together so there are no stars to speak of. For decades and centuries, scientists have puzzled how it is that our universe right now, the one that we live in, appears to have hit kind of a sweet spot with the laws of physics, enabling things to be the way they are and for life to form. This idea isn't the most popular because it suggests our universe works due to pure chance and coincidence, which is frustrating at best and faintly terrifying at worst. This theory is also known as the Anthropic Principle, and broadly speaking, the issue of the universe having perfect values for life is what we call the fine-tuning problem. 
Regularly cited examples of it in our world include the mass of elementary particles and the density of dark energy, both of which have to be exact. If there weren't so, then the chances are that we wouldn't even be here to ponder them, because none of this universe would be possible. If our universe were the only universe in existence, the chances of these numbers being so perfect seems frankly improbable and most likely impossible. However, in a level 2 multiverse, that problem is solved because our universe is no longer alone. It's simply the one that did work while endless others didn't. Among the infinite bubbles that a level 2 multiverse proposes, there are an untold number of universes and bubbles that could never support life or form basic elements, which does make it as easier to accept that ours through sheer cosmic repetition can. On the other side of the coin, it also follows that in a level 2 multiverse, there are other bubbles that can form everything we know and more. Physically impossible life forms and structures and beings, or forms of matter from our point of view, but simple and expected in these other worlds. The possibilities here are essentially endless. In Max Tegmark's Level 3 Multiverse, also known as the Cosmic Landscape, is a concept that suggests that the multiple universes within the multiverse may be connected to one another through some sort of wormhole or other means, allowing for the possibility of information and matter to be exchanged between them. There are many other proposed models and theories for how the universe within the multiverse might be connected to one another. Some of these ideas include the concept of quantum entanglement, an idea in which the particles that are entangled with one another are able to instantaneously affect one another regardless of the distance between them. Another possibility is the idea of brain cosmology, which suggests that the universe is made up of multiple brains or sheets of space-time that are embedded in a higher dimensional space. According to this theory, the different brains within the multiverse could be connected to one another through the higher dimensional space in which they are embedded in. The idea of brain cosmology was first proposed in the late 1990s as a way to reconcile certain features of quantum mechanics with a theory of general relativity. It has since been developed further as a way to understand the nature of the universe and its possible connections to other universes. The Level 4 Multiverse, known as the Megaverse or the Omniverse in Max Tegmark's 4 Universe 4 Multiverse Theory, is a concept that suggests that every universe we observe is just one part of a larger multiverse that encompasses all possible universes and all possible states of reality. This type of multiverse is thought to be infinite in size and complexity, and it's thought to contain every possible combination of particle or quantum arrangements. According to the level 4 multiverse theory, the universe we observe or live in is just one possible configuration of the multiverse, and that there could be an infinite number of other configurations that are possible and happening at the same time. Before we end the video, let's talk about M-theory. M-theory is a theoretical framework in physics that unifies all five versions of superstring theory it proposes the existence of 11 dimensions, including the familiar three of space and one of time, as well as seven extra dimensions that are curled up or compactified. One of the key predictions of M-theory is the existence of multiple universes. In this scenario, our observable universe is just one of many universes that exist within this larger multiverse. These universes may have different physical properties and constants and could potentially even have different forms of life. Maybe these universes exist in multiple dimensions or in dimensions higher or lower than ours, existing in places that we can never reach. However, this theory is highly speculative and has not yet been proven or even close to been proven. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to give it a quick like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell icon if you want to watch more content. This is your host Yash Verma from Yverse, and I'll see you around next week.